How to hard reset the iPhone 13 and the 13 series. Welcome to one of how to smartphones tutorial videos. In this video, I'll be showing you guys how to do a factory hard reset on the iPhone 13. This will also work on any of the older phones, I believe from iPhone X to the iPhone 13. It will work on all of those. Anything that's missing the home button, this same method will work. So what the hard reset does is it clears all of the uh, clears the phone of all any of the information that is currently on it. So if you have any photos, contacts, videos, messages, all that stuff will be deleted, removed off the phone, and it'll be put back to the original settings like when you pull it out of the box. However, this will not remove the activation lock or the iCloud that is currently signed into the device. So I'm just going to go ahead and sign into mine here with the passcode and show you, that, show you guys that I got some uh, photos and videos. I got 18 photos, 30 videos on uh, this device, not that much. So the um, the reset, the kind of the clearing of this phone shouldn't take as long. Um, but I will be showing you guys that I do have the locked screen on here. Um, so if you did forget your passcode and you are looking to do the reset, even, even with a disabled phone, you should be able to do this same method and get it to work. So our first step is going to be to power off the device. And we're going to do so by hitting volume up, volume down, and pressing and holding the side button. And that will bring us up to this uh, screen that says slide to power off. We're going to go ahead and slide it to power off. And then once we're here, I just wanted to mention and let you guys know that having the latest version of your operating system, having the latest version of your um, iTunes is going to be very helpful to help you get through the steps. If you don't have uh, the latest version, it'll take a little longer. It might time out. You may have to try multiple times. So now that we have this off, um, you, I will be using my, my iMac with the latest version of iTunes on there. I have the iPhone 13 that I'll be doing the hard reset on. And then you will need a power cord. So you'll take the power cord. I have it plugged into my uh, computer here. I will also be plugging it into the iPhone 13. But before I do, my next step is right as soon as I plug it in, I will be hitting the volume up, volume down, and then holding the side button over here. So let's go ahead and do that now. Volume up, volume down, pressing and holding the side button there. And we're gonna go ahead and hold it. Um, the Apple logo will disappear and then it'll reappear again. We're going to continue to hold until we see a laptop with a plug-in symbol that's going to take us to a restore screen. Just like that. Once I'm on that screen, I'm going to go ahead and release my finger off that button and we're going to be switching over to the screen where our iTunes automatically comes up. And here it's asking us, hey, there's a problem with your iPhone named iPhone that requires to be updated or restored. Um, the update just kind of powers it off and turns it back on. What the restore does is it clears everything. So we're gonna hit restore. And then it says, are you sure you want to restore the iPhone named iPhone? Um, it's uh, restored to its factory settings. All your media and other data will be erased. And the newest version of the iPhone software will be installed. So that's what we're looking for. If you're looking to trade in your device, um, you want to do that. So we're going to go ahead and hit restore and update. And from here, it says your Mac is preparing to restore the software on this iPhone. And it's going to take a little while. And then it'll get you to a point to where it's going to be downloading. And so this screen should stay on until it is done doing all that uh, restoring and updating. And just kind of a little heads up, uh, this may take you guys more than one shot. Uh, it's not going to be a quick, you know, 30 minute Thing where you just watch the video and you're going to be able to do this. This will take some time, especially if you don't have the latest versions of the operating system or iTunes, whatever. It'll take some time to get that going. You may have to do multiple attempts on getting through to um, getting to this recovery screen. So just kind of keep that in mind. And before doing this, I strongly recommend doing any kind of backing up, saving contacts, uh, if you're able to, anything like that, saving photos, transferring them from your phone to your uh, Mac or your computer, whatever you're using. Um, if you guys would like to see the way that I did it, that I transferred photos and videos from this iPhone 13 to my iMac, I will drop a link to that video in the description below.
So we have that bar on the bottom, it's saying restoring iPhone software. So it's kind of working its way, getting everything set up. Um, you know, if you have one that's saying it's updating, uploading, so um, it'll just take a little longer. And if it does time out, meaning um, the screen changes on the iTunes and then the phone pretty much boots back up and gets back to that locked screen, um, all you gotta do is just start back from square one and restart that whole update, restart that whole process that I did when I was plugging it in and hitting the buttons. Uh, and getting it there so this like I said this will not be a quick thing this will take some time so set aside some time in order to do this I've been messing around with mine for probably four hours getting the operating system up to speed on the computer getting the latest version of iTunes um, so just kind of keep that in mind when you're doing it this is not going to be a quick and easy task and today is February 22nd 2022 so a 22222 22 date Pretty cool date. Hope this video takes off and becomes viral just because it was recorded on 2-22-22. That'd be cool. So the loading bar over here has changed several times. Um, now it is restoring iPhone firmware. So I'm just kind of cutting out all the boring waiting time. Um, but it is doing work between my breaks, between my pauses. So just like that, that bar has completely loaded. And it says your iPhone has been restored to factory settings and is restarting. Please leave your iPhone connected. It will appear in the sidebar after it restarts. So I'm just going to go ahead and select OK here. And then from here on out, we are looking at the device here. What I'm going to be doing is I'm going to show you guys that it pretty much takes it to that factory reset screen after it finishes doing all the stuff that it's doing. It'll take you back to that hello screen that you normally get when you get a brand new phone. So everything should be deleted off there unless there was an iCloud account signed in to the device when it was getting reset and if that's the case uh, as you start up the start start up the hello process going through all the steps which which i will be doing just to show you guys that it deleted all my photos videos and reset everything back to factory settings i'm going to be showing you guys that but during that step it will ask for the password to the apple id that is currently signed in to the device so keep that in mind So there we have it just like that it loaded up and we are on the hello screen and once again here we are just going to start this up like a new device going to set it up manually and it's going to be needing my wi-fi password so just like that i got my password signed in going to go ahead and select join it may take a minute or two to get through this process um it's telling me that no wireless connection was found so i'm just going to tell it start it up activate it using the wi-fi So here we have it, wow, everything went through. We're just gonna go ahead and hit continue. Face ID, we'll set that up later. And right now we don't need any of this information, so we it doesn't really matter. It's asking if you wanna use a passcode, don't use a passcode. I'm just trying to take it to the home screen to show you guys um, that everything was cleared off. So we can restore from iCloud, restore from Mac, transfer from another iPhone, move data, don't transfer anything. I'm just doing, don't transfer anything. Forgot, um, I'm gonna set it up. Are you sure you don't want to use Apple ID? Don't use. Terms and conditions, agree. Continue, not now. Disable, you're sure you want to disable? Yes, set up later in settings for Siri. Set up later, don't share. Doesn't matter, light, dark, standard, that doesn't matter. Just like that, welcome to iPhone. Swipe up and I go back into photos and it's taken me as it if, as if it is new. So just like that, nothing there. All the apps are stock that normally come with it. So that is my uh, factory hard reset video on the iPhone 13. I uh, hope you guys found this video helpful. Once again, I will just say it again. It will take some time. If you don't get it the first time, uh, try it again. Repeat the processes all over from square one and just start all over and restart. Once again, this will not be a short thing. This will take some time. So keep that in mind when doing it and it will not remove the iCloud or the activation lock if you have purchased a second hand uh, used device. So uh, once again, hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you know anybody looking for this information, uh, know if this information will help somebody, please do pass it on to them, help them out. And if you guys would like to see other helpful tips and tricks on the iPhone 13, please go ahead, check out that iPhone 13 playlist. And if you guys would like to do the factory reset that doesn't have the passcode, so as you guys could see, this device no longer has that passcode on it. If you are able to get into your phone, um, you are able to do a just a regular factory reset, not a hard reset. 
Um, I will show you how to do just a regular factory reset. I'll have that link in the description as well. Um, it's a lot simpler than this one. This one is used for disabled, mostly for disabled phones and phones that have passcodes on them. So there you guys have it. Thank you guys all for watching. Have a good day.